and uh, friends and family and everybody else that's watching this video. Uh, welcome back. My name is Jamie and today I thought I'd do a, um, essentially what I'm needing to do is cleaning out my purse. As you can tell, it's really heavy. Um, and uh, so I thought I would do a what's in my purse video. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. So um, this could be interesting. I can guarantee you there's going to be lots of papers and we'll just have to see. So uh, my purse actually is an eBay purchase. Um, I will link below the person that I bought this from. Um, it's got the shoulder strap, it's got a hand carry strap, and these are removable, so it's nice actually. It's really heavy and I can't handle carrying it any longer. So once it's emptied, I will show you what we have inside. So as many of you know, I live in Canada and it's cold. So the first thing we have in here are my trusty mittens. I don't go very far without these puppies at this time of year. Um, next thing is some slippies that I have to go to the post office and pick up. Uh, there's a couple of these. A phone bill that my husband has just paid and given me the receipt for. A empty envelope. Um, I'll come back to this. I have my Kobo in here. Now I have um, a few different readers. This one is the Kobo Glow and the Kobo Glow as you can see, it's not very big, it's about the size of my hand, um, but on this I have uh, about 800 books. It also has a small, S one of those little tiny SD cards, I don't know what they're called, maybe they're just called SD cards, and it uh, expands the actual library, so I can put on this, plus that little card, I think about 2,000 books. Um, this Kobo in itself has actually got the backlight, so here you can see it in dark. Let's see if you can see it in the light. And there you can see what happens when it backlights. So um, there is no color to it, which is fine, um, because this one I just use for carrying around in my purse. I have all of the same books as well on my iPad, which if I'm gonna read at home, I will use my iPad um, because I can prop it up and it's just, I like it better for reading on, but this is great to take with me. Um, and just for curiosity's sake, the book that I have open right now is Beyond the Sling. So it's about attachment parenting and it's by the, um, the girl who played Blossom. Um, on TV, she's actually like a neuroscientist or something. So um, I'll come back on that one. Maybe I'll go <laughs> what exactly she does. I can't remember. But um, it's all her uh, explaining how she um, did attachment parenting. What else? Oh, gross. Garbage. <laughs> Empty Starbucks container. Um, I have Ricola because I have been sick. So these ones are the mixed berries, natural herbs and berries. Um, helps me breathe, soothe my dry throat because it was really bad. Um, again, these are just papers, so not so interesting. More things to pick up at the mail. Um, some information from my Birthing From Within course. I'm curious just as much as you are, an envelope. Um, I've been seeing an osteopath and um, been getting five treatments for free on my SI dysfunction, which has been amazingly healed. Um, I haven't really felt much pain at all and I've only been to her three times. So um, I, if you are in Kingston and are interested in getting some uh, osteopathy done, I'm more than happy to share with you who this girl is. Uh, she's amazing. Um, just give me a quick message in the YouTube message box or through Facebook and um, and I'm more than happy to hook you up with her. You can get my Facebook information below. So what I have been doing, because I've been YouTubing and wanting to YouTube more frequently, is I have my little video camera that I have in here, and the point of my osteopath story to you was she needs to video our sessions, and she ran out of her full card. So I have a brand new S, 
a CHC card um, that she replaced the one that I had with. So um, that's that. Uh, I have mini speakers, which are quite rocking actually. They're really cool. They just charge into your um, computer. They hold a battery charge and they're for traveling. So they're like a little boom box you can use. I use my phone or my iPhone to it. I've also used my iPad and my computer with this. Um, and they're really good actually. I use this, it'll hold, I don't know, hours charge, hours, days probably. Um, I use this for my yoga classes that I do on the go. So if I'm teaching a class off site, which I do twice a week, um, I take these so we can have music in the class. I have some Burt's Bees hand cream, and this is the Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream, and it is 100% natural. It's filled with essential oils. Um, some people find it very strong. I absolutely love it, um, but to each their own. Again, because I was sick, I am carrying Benelin. Sleepy, dry cough for the night. This is safe for pregnancy. Um, However, I'm just not really keen on taking medication in general. I don't usually take it. So I think I've only swallowed maybe two or three teaspoons of this um, just because I don't really want to. And I'm probably not going to touch any more of it. So I'm, I'm letting it do its due course now. I can breathe better now. So uh, we're just going to heal in time. Again, this is another Burt's Bees product. Um, this is the Almond and Milk Hand Cream. And the almond and milk hand cream, if you can see it, is, oh, it smells so good. Anything almondy, oh, love it. Delicious, that's good. Um, what is it, the price tags on it, $13. Not cheap, but good. I have a couple packs of gum, because I love gum. I also have sunglasses. Sunglasses are always good. Let's see which ones these ones are. Check them out. I usually never, ever, ever have them in their case, so it makes me curious about which ones they are. These are my aviator shades. Oh, I feel like they're wobbly. Those are my cool aviator shades. Um, I don't do sunglasses well because my cheeks are really high, and they go, and they, they lift up all the time. So, oh, I can see I bent them. Not my favorite glasses, um, but they do the trick when it's sunny out and uh, you need some protection against the sun for les yeux. I have an iPhone charger cord, um, which I need to plug my iPad into. I do have the iPhone 5 now, so this no longer works, um, but I do use a lot of accessories that still use this charger. I also have another cord which is for my Kobo. Again, I don't usually take these with me. However, I knew my Kobo was dying and I wanted to use it, so um, I did throw that in. Some garbage. Um, I have a mucklock of change at the bottom of my purse. An alligator clip, because you never know when you're going to need one of those. And... Um, an expired promotional gift card, and I have my Beauty Club Sally key tag, which I will never put that on my keychain, because why would you? Um, that is it for the main pocket. Um, there are a couple small pockets in here that hold for your iPhone or your charger phone, something else, and a little zipper pocket that I have um, nothing in. So, the only other thing that is probably the most important, oh, and a set of earphones. The only other thing that's probably the most important uh, is this, and this happens by chance to match this pretty well, um, but this is what I use if I'm just going out quick. So I just shove this all in here, and this is essentially my money bag. As you can see, this is the culprit of most of the weight in my purse. And it's because I don't spend change. So I'll give you a little bit of a tip. I, um, for the past, oh God, I can't even remember how long, eight years, nine years, um, I used to work in a restaurant. So I dealt a lot with tips and I'd end up with a lot of change for floats and those sorts of things. 
Um, so what I started doing was accumulating my change and I would throw my change in a jar or a bucket and I literally, whenever I would get my purse, I would take, you know, if I was going to get a coffee, I would take a $5 bill, I would take the change and I'd dump it in the bottom of my purse and I would dump it in the bottom of my purse and dump it in the bottom of my purse and then when my purse gets too heavy like it is today, um, I empty it out and clean it all up organize it a bit and then I take my change and I dump it in that bucket and whenever I go on a holiday I usually am able to roll anywhere between seven hundred and fifteen hundred dollars in change and I'm talking that's two to three times a year so um, again it seems kind of hard not to dig into your purse and you know to pull out that toonie if all you're doing is buying a dollar fifty coffee However, if you can break that $5 bill, chuck it in the bottom, when it comes around time for you to go on holiday, all your spending money is already there. It's not like you have to dip into your bank account. All you really have to do is pay for your flight and you're pretty much set. So um, I'm able to travel without accumulating credit card debts or um, extra payments that uh, I don't want to deal with when I come home and the trip's already done. Um, so that is key. In here I have a ton of receipts it's like a George Costanza wallet um, because this is studio stuff there's some cash some checks I always have a nail file with me because if not I will bite my nails if they get a rip um, again another blank envelope this is where I will throw my makeupy kind of things that I carry as well so all of this as you can see, let me show you how much change I have in here. Oh, let's see, can we see? See all that change? It's a culprit of a very heavy purse. Um, but there's probably 40 or 50 bucks in change there. So in here, I have my lipsticks, my lip balms, my little perfumes, anything that I carry. So this is a perfume called Kai, K-A-I, and this is um, just a, a one eighth ounce, I guess, rollerball perfume oil, and I love it. Okay. Here's the, the quick view. So here is the Kai, come on, zoom in, Kai oil, um, my, Aveeno lip balm. The CoverGirl balm. There it is. And here's the color. And the swatch is the swatch that's actually closest to my hand up here the top line. Okay. Um, the next line is the Gosh Volume Lip Shine. Here's my color. And the swatch is here. It's good. Sorry, my camera's zooming in on my face. Let's see if we can get in closer. There we go. The color is here. Mm, here is the Black Cherry Revlon Lipstick. As you can see, it's very dark. I'll swatch it as well. It is obviously the darker color. Beautiful. Come on. And my Revlon Color Stay in Plum. And last but not least, the Simpatico Oil. Let's see if I can keep it in zoom. Solid. And that's the end of my What's in My Bag. 
So thank you for helping me clean up my bag and um, thank you for staying and watching all of the things that I carry in my bag. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will see you all soon. I am going to be very consistent with my channel right now. I have actually organized all of my videos upcoming and uh, I can't wait to share them all with you. So you can look back to get a video almost every or every other day. Okay, take care, bye bye. Thanks so much for watching and before you leave be sure again to click the subscribe button. Below you can find a link to my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram account as well as my own personal blog. You can also see the link to my last videos and, and if you have any questions again comment. Thanks so much for joining. Bye.